or structure and can often be compared to something like a bone structure. In your bone structures, the outside of your bone is very rigid, but on the inside, it's actually mostly hollow where you basically have an open cellular structure so they aren't easily crushed, yet lightweight at the same time. If you want to look at just properties in general, then one would be compression in the sense of energy absorption, and then the second would be lightweight in terms of having very hollow tubes. So let's say you have the egg drop challenge that you know a lot of students have in school, and they need to drop an egg from 25 stories and protect that egg. They would probably wrap it in many, many layers of bubble wrap and then drop it and hope for the best. But what we can do is back design the micro lattice to absorb the force that the egg feels. So instead of having an egg that's wrapped in three feet of bubble wrap, now you have a much smaller package that your egg can sit in. One of the main applications that we've been looking into is structural components or aerospace so when I get on an airplane and I'm leaning against the sidewall panel, I'm putting my luggage in the stove bin, or I'm walking along the floor panels, I think, you know, the micro lattice could be used in one of these applications. In the future, the material could help Boeing to save a lot of weight, make the airplanes more fuel efficient.